I think he did a lot, an incredible amount. He got a lot more people engaged in politics. America has never been so deeply divided. Show us the proof that we're asking for and no one seems to be willing to do that. In the 2020 election, 74 million people voted for Donald Trump. The second highest in history after Joe Biden. So since he lost his re-election campaign, what's going to happen to Trumpism? These politicians are not in charge. They govern at the consent of the people. Many newly elected Republicans have been voted in on a pro-Trump ticket. So even though Donald Trump isn't in office, Trumpism hasn't gone anywhere and supporters of the former president will still expect their values to be represented by politicians. To lump everybody together into one category and say, all 75 million people that supported Trump or voted for Trump, you're, you're terrible people. And that, that is a, uh, that's a scary thing too. Despite losing some support from white evangelical Christians in the 2020 election, President Trump still convinced an overwhelming majority of them, 75%. He also won a majority, 67%, of white working class voters. So when it comes to issues of abortion, gun control, safety in America, no problem with this. Or simply the interests of white working class voters, President Biden will have to tread carefully to keep a divided nation together. There's 74 million of us. We're not going away. We need to find out who our leader is. The initial movement would be 2022 is primary the heck out of these people that are against Trump and Trumpism, so to speak. And could Trumpism live on through one of Donald Trump's own children? Ivanka and Donald Jr. particularly are influential in their own right. We have to send a resounding message that patriotism is alive and well in Georgia. So it's fair to say, for as long as there's still Trump family members around, Trumpism isn't going anywhere. Not everyone agrees, though. The Capitol riots in January 2021 changed some staunch supporters' minds. When I arrived in Washington this morning, I fully intended to object to the certification of the electoral votes. However, the events that have transpired today have forced me to reconsider. We've had a hell of a journey. I hate it being this way. From my point of view, he's been a consequential president. But today, all I can say is uh, count me out, enough is enough. Research done after the Capitol Hill riots showed the number of Trump supporters that think he's done a bad job has doubled from 10% to 20%. But the overwhelming majority of Republican-leaning voters still agree, even after the riot, that Donald Trump probably or definitely won the 2020 election, despite overwhelming evidence to the contrary. There's a big movement of leaving the Republican Party or, I don't know, the MAGA Party or the Patriotic Party, um, uh, because the, the Republican Party um, basically has left us. They, they truly don't support him. We don't exactly know who Q is, okay? Q is not one person. For a smaller, more extreme subsection of Donald Trump supporters, those who believe the discredited QAnon conspiracy theory, support is dwindling. What QAnon supporters believe is that Donald Trump is fighting a Satan-worshipping paedophile ring led by Hillary Clinton. Oh, okay. YouTube, Q's plan to save the world. And that an individual known as Q is a mystery Trump official with Q clearance who posts classified information online for his supporters. I am 100% behind Q. He's working for the president, he's working for our country. Q is a bunch of people. They're on the inside, they're the good guys. QAnon supporters have been split over the riot with many disassociating themselves from the violence and with others calling for renewed action. As people were trying to figure out what was going on after the election, were Q didn't weigh in when people in those networks were starting to despair they were saying you know it was an op the whole time we got played you know the the trump wasn't as powerful as he had said he was they were disappointed that there hadn't been mass arrests 
Despite the disillusionment, many QAnon supporters attended the riot on January the 6th. And their support may simply transition to something equally extreme rather than dissipate altogether. Now that these groups have met each other, now that they've been through a moment together, I often think about moments like uh, what we saw at the Capitol as a, as a crucible. The relationships that they forge, usually when we see a movement resort to violence, it's really hard to get uh, them to uh, see other institutional paths to social change. Yeah, I don't, I don't subscribe to any of that. It's, it's conspiracy theory. It's just, it's way out left. They're, they're hurting uh, the Trump cause, in my opinion. For, you know, moving forward, or at least if there's some sort of party um, that he creates, or, or maybe I don't know, maybe the uh, Republican Party will go away. <laughs> because it, uh, I, I think they, they too have forgotten why they're in office and, and, and who they're fighting for.